They say podcasts are going to replace books. I don't know about that. But I do think TRS clips will assist your learning process. Uh, what people don't talk about as an upcoming modern day technology is all the advancements we're seeing in biohacking. Two questions. Firstly, what is biohacking? Mm -hmm. Secondly, other than Neuralink, what are some things that are coming up? And I'm talking about the next five to 10 years. Right. The most exciting things that are coming up is ways in which you can get feedback from your body. So well, think about it. Explain what biohacking is first. Okay. Uh, there are two ways to look at biohacking. Uh, one is some techniques that you use to improve your own efficiency. Of right? your body. Of your body. Mm. So what are some breathing exercises? What are some daily meditation exercises? What are some physical exercises that you can do? What are things that you can eat? What are things that you can, uh, what are ways in which you can sleep better? All of these are ways of biohacking your body. The other way of biohacking is through technology. So what kind of music are you listening to? Is there any evidence for binaural beats? Is there any evidence for the correct or a particular kind of lighting in your house, a particular kind of uh, shades of curtains in your house, all of these, what are the loops that they set up that affect your behavior? They're all different ways in which you can think of biohacking. So uh, sort of uh, you get an insight into how your personal unique brain mm -hmm. is reacting to different real world scenarios or uh, things you put inside your body or sort near your body manipulating your neurobiological reactions. Okay. Like oh, one example is that patch that people have started putting, mm. you know, those patches which give you feedback on your glucose levels. That's yes. one sort of uh, biohacking because you're getting feedback on your glucose. So levels. the word for that would be biofeedback. Okay. So there is a difference. Biofeedback is incredibly useful. We have biofeedback inbuilt in us. At any given point of time, your brain is aware of your body temperature which is a biofeedback. Your brain is aware of where your legs are, which is biofeedback. Uh, how full your stomach is, how full your bladder is. Are you sexually turned on? Are you sexually turned off? Are you, Is your stomach paining? Is there any pain anywhere in your body? This is all biofeedback. Your brain needs constant information about your body. What we are doing through technology is adding another level of biofeedback. So now we have a glucometer, for example. Now my, I am consciously aware, not just subconsciously. My subconscious brain is already aware of my glucose levels, but am I consciously aware of my glucose levels? That adds another level. Am I consciously aware of my heartbeat? Through my Apple watch, I will be able to know that. My oxygen level, my, uh, my weight. So all of these things are ways of getting biofeedback. Hmm. The more feedback you get, the more your conscious decision making can change. As so, in your daily life choices. Yeah, correct. Exactly. So people who are doing 24 hour glucose monitoring have found that they can now see when their glucose levels go above 110, 120. And then when they reach out for that cake, they will not eat it because now they don't want it to cross 125 because that is a target that they've set for themselves. Mm. It can also have an opposite effect because I have had patients with diabetes whose sugars were not very well controlled, 200, 220. They're doing their best. They're dieting, they're taking their medicines, they're exercising. But even then, initially, the sugar levels can still fluctuate. Now, normally what would happen is they would check their blood sugar after 15 days, which means the biofeedback would come every 15 days. Mm. And they know that okay, 10 point come ho gaya, 10 point come ho gaya. But with 24 hour glucose monitoring, every single rise is documented. Now they're full attention is on that app ki dekho maine itna kha liya aur itna bad gaya and that gives them anxiety so too much feedback is also a problem mm. and this is a very interesting phenomenon that we have noticed black mirror there we go <laughs> full circle wow thank you for watching this clip if you want to learn more about this topic we've curated a playlist just for you and here's a link to the whole episode